Hey, that was super cool. What were you doing there? That right there is called an ollie, and it's one of the most important tricks of all skateboarding. I can teach it to you if you like. So, an ollie is the most important trick in skateboarding just because, like, whether you like skating vertical, flat ground, um, street skating, or at the skate park, it's going to be your best friend because it allows you to really enjoy and reap the benefits of everything around you, including things that before would just seem like obstacles. According to surfertoday.com, the original Ollie is the most important uh, trick in skateboarding because it shifted the paradigm from a mainly unidimensional outdoor activity to a multi-axis um, pastime. Uh, today, I'm going to be basically explaining to you the techniques behind just doing the simple Ollie, um, some of the applications that you can use it on, and then some tricks to follow it up with once you figure that out. So let's get into the technique. Um, one thing I will say when learning the ollie is it's not easy at all. Nothing in skateboarding is, and it's gonna take a lot of time and practice. You're gonna have to do it over and over and over again. Um, according to Skateboarders HQ, um, on average it takes between a couple of weeks and six months to really learn an ollie. Um, I will also like to say if you're someone who already enjoys riding around on a board and is kind of used to the balance of a skateboard or longboard or anything like that, learning the ollie, I recommend doing it while moving because that's how you're going to use it basically every time once you actually figure it out. But if you're brand new to the sport and this is one of the first things you're learning, I would definitely say put your back wheels into a crack like this because now when I get on the board, I don't go anywhere. I'm stuck in place. So the first, there's like four parts to an ollie really. One of the first things you're gonna have to figure out is your foot positioning. And so I'm goofy, so I ride right foot forward. So this is the front of the board, this is the tail. And so for me, I like to put my foot basically in line with my shoe in line with the curve of the board and the back of it kind of hanging off. This is kind of called what's called the pocket and allows you to get the most pop when doing an ollie. The next part you're gonna have to do is learning how to get the pop, which is basically caused from slamming all your weight in your back foot and pushing the back tail of the board down. The next thing you're gonna do once you figure out how to do that is you're gonna slide your foot up, which causes the friction to bring the board with you. The thing that I see a lot of people doing when learning ollies is they don't really understand the kind of ankle movement that you have to do. You really want to get into the softer part of your shoe about right here, kind of on your pinky toe when you're sliding. That's why when you see skaters shoes, a lot of times you'll see a hole about right here. And so when you, then you're going to just slide up and that'll pull the board with you. The last part that you're going to need is to jump with the board. And the higher you jump, basically is the higher your ollie is gonna be. Because if you do everything right, the board is gonna stick to your feet and follow you. And when you ollie, you really wanna make sure to push this front foot forward and put your weight on top of it. Because that's what's gonna make the board flatten out on top. And so when you put it all together, it should look a little something like this. And then the next thing, once you kind of start figuring out the ollie and you're just gonna to have to do it over and over and over again until you really get all those things to go because you really have to do it like kind of all at once. It's not slam and slide. It's more of one fluid motion that all kind of ties together. But the next thing you're gonna do when learning the ollie is learn how to apply it. And so first you're gonna have to try and do it while moving. I would start slow and work up. And definitely one thing that helped me a lot in the beginning when learning how to ollie up onto things or up and over things is to ride and look at something like a crack. So you get your timing. So when you get up to it, you know to ollie before the crack. And that kind of gets you to get used to riding up to something and not being afraid of it. And when you do figure that out, now you can go up on top of curbs when you're riding street or down curbs instead of having to pick up your board every time. 
Or you can also do things like grinds, where you come up to it and you can all the way up and maybe put your trucks on like this and 50-50 it. Or you can tail slide. There's a bunch of different grinds you can do. And then the final thing that I'm gonna to explain to you today is basically how important the ollie is to every other trick in skateboarding. You need the ollie, really you use the fundamentals of the ollie in almost every other trick possible. So two that are very basic would be probably the next steps is to learn what's called a front side 180. And that's just basically where you're ollieing up and switching the board backwards. And so now you're running switch. And that's all you really do with that is the same thing as an ollie where you're just bringing it up, except you're, you're just bringing this back foot over. And so I recommend when you're doing that, you swing your arms around. Another trick that you use a lot is a kickflip, where you slide and you just slide off to the right. That's the only difference from it being an ollie. You kick your feet slightly, and that causes the board to do a full rotation like that. That's called a kickflip. So in conclusion, now you know how to do the techniques of it, how to practice it, some applications to it, and your next step once you figure it out. Skating in general is just such a fun sport and has a really great community. And um, it's really incredible to me that skating uh, is just only about 40 years old, like freestyle skating, because according to Britannica.com, the Ollie was invented in 1978 by Alan Ollie Gilford. But uh, yeah, get out there and skate.